now we're going to go ahead and take the care of the vertical pipes as well. So now that we've moved those initial pipes in place, I'm going to take this section view here. I'm going to kind of line it up so that it's kind of in the center of the pipes that we laid down the first time. And then I'm going to do the same over here. I'm just going to kind of line it up. I might kind of push this one a little bit back because these pipes are a little down. I'm going to try to extend these out a little further because you can only see up to where you put that line on. Okay, let's take a look and see what happens. We're going to go back to our section one view where we have our water heater and it's not connected right now, but now we can add in our elbows. So go over to components and no, I'm not, I'm still not saving this project, but if, since we already created an elbow, we should be able to find it over here. Oh, right down there, elbow. Okay, and depending on how you click it, it's gonna connect in different ways. So if you can find a nice way for it to click, like there, you can just kind of click it down and then adjust it accordingly. So I'm gonna kind of just tap that down and it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's moving the pipe or stretching it, but it looks like it's stretching it and that actually makes it easier. So if you wanna move this, select it by the fitting itself. For that one, I'm gonna connect that there. And up here, we're gonna need two more elbows. So I'm looking for that there, and um, if I can't get a good fitting, maybe over here. So it looks like on this side, it's very difficult for me to get a good fitting. So what I'm going to recommend we do is not bother with that and just take this one over here, and we're going to copy it. So I'm going to hold Control, press C, and then Control, press V, and I'm going to drop a copy of that fitting on this side. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to press the space bar once to rotate that over. So now that's been rotated, I can take this and kind of extend it outward and adjust it. And then this one here, push that back a bit and take this and just do my best to get it to match up a little bit better like that. So now that's been connected. And I just realized that this is how the water heater gets supplied with water. So that should be coming from the supply line itself and not actually, you know, supplying water and taking water out and sending it to the other fixtures. So we might need to make a few small edits here. I'm just going to take this pipe here and push that up. Go ahead, grab another pipe. And this pipe, I'm going to extend it outward like that and then downward like so okay so adjust that one and we'll just need another uh, fitting to hold that in place because that's essentially what's supplying the hot water the top is how it's receiving the hot water. And now let's mirror the pipes from the top here so we don't need to do any kind of weird crossover. Just select those, use the mirror tool over here, mirror pick axes, and I'm just going to kind of click in the center. Oops, let me try that one more time. Select all that. We'll do mirrors, draw axes, that might work better. And draw an axis going vertical, click, and then press escape twice. And delete the original pipes. So that we're left with this new system. And then we're going to connect this new system over to the supply line. Let's go to component, grab that elbow one down there, one down there, go to system, pipe, and connect that. 
that lets us draw it. <laughs> like so. And then adjust this by tapping the keyboard so that it matches up. Like that. Okay, awesome. So now we got our supply line and our water heater providing water to our fixtures. So we're going to head over to the other side now. Before I jump to the other side, I do want to point out that this supply line here that sends water over, I do have an elbow on it and it's facing like the other side of my section view. Just so you know it exists right there. And now I'm going to go over to section two and I'm going to point it out right away. And if I could zoom in over here and I hover, this is that elbow and it's facing this direction. So I know I could put a pipe there and that it will most likely be connected. Let's just see if it sticks and it doesn't. So, you know, put it adjacent to it. So this is supplying water based on the other side. And I'm going to draw it to there and press escape, and then draw it over to here. Now, you might be wondering, that's a hot water heater, so why are we supplying water to this toilet over here? We're not actually going to. I'm just setting that up so that when we put the cold water in it, that we won't actually have to generate a new pipe because these two pipes will already be broken. Okay, I'm gonna kind of select that and try to connect that over to that end. Take this pipe here push it up, this pipe here, push it up, and just for simplicity's sake, you know, we'll just connect it like that, like so. And then here we're going to need a T, and there we're going to need an elbow. So let's start with the elbow. Okay, this is once again, like, I can't find a good, nice snap fitting, but I know this one's facing the right way, it's just kind of oriented wrong, so I'm going to click that down, and then use that to essentially rotate it, and I'm going to rotate it that 180 degrees. Maybe I needed a couple more degrees on that. So let me rotate it 90 more degrees. Like so. Okay. Tap it down. And adjust that. Okay. And then the T over here. Component. Put that down like that for now, and then rotate that one 90 degrees. Whoops. It's annoying when uh, when you try to do something and it undoes it. Okay, then just press disconnect. Okay, so that side's now connected. Let's head back over to the ground floor view. Now back on the ground floor, what we're gonna do is move our section views to take a look at something else that's not currently connected yet. So for example, the water heater to the water main isn't connected yet. So I'm gonna use this section view and kind of just go like in between it so I can kind of see what's happening there and adjust the pipes accordingly. And then our sewer main to each of these fixtures we need to take a look at. So I'm just going to move that over so that I'm looking at the center of that. And let's jump to section one first, which is that section. So going back down there, section one. 
Okay, so there's our toilet, that's our two and a half inch pipe, and that's our sewer main there. It's important that when you're on this step that you're not deleting anything. So even though you might be tempted to delete this pipe or this pipe or the sewers here or adjust them, you have to remember that everything's connected. It's just that our section view, we are only seeing like that slice of it. So all we want to do here is add stuff. And the thing we want to add is that we don't have a sewer main going from our toilet over to there. So let's add in an extra pipe. Pipe. And it's going to be a two and a half inch pipe. Just going straight down from our toilet over to there. And then we're going to connect that with an elbow. I always kind of try to get it as close as possible without it you know, giving me issues. Okay. Okay. So now that's connected and everything else should be good. Let's go back to our ground floor just real quick again. So you can see that that's probably connected now. Let's move it over to our sink. Okay. And go back to our section one view. Okay. So now we got our sink and our water main and our sewer line there. Let's add in a pipe on this side as well. So systems, pipe, and just for quick purposes, we're just going to draw that in and then add in our elbow on this side as well. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so now the sink has a uh, sewer main as well, or a sewer line as well.